Hello, welcome to the very first episode of the Wild Card Cartridge. Today we will be making the scallop card and also the matching envelope. We will be cutting out the liner as well as the envelope liner and the icon for the card so we can get started. I have already pre-cut the envelope at 3 and 3 quarters fit to page feature and also I have cut two liners um, for the envelope. Because this is a one-sided pattern paper that's why I needed to cut another one and I cut the top half off and glued it to the back. The reason I needed to do that is when I placed it down and glued it onto my envelope when you flip it over you can see the pattern paper showing at the back. Now we can glue our liner onto our envelope. Once you place that through, glue it down firmly. And because I have already pre-scored my lines, I'm going to be flipping them over and also with my bone folder making sure that everything is aligned properly and straight. And with my glue, I am gluing the sides and the bottom to create the envelope. And uh, that envelope is done. Now we can move on to the cards. I have cut two cards, one in the black out feature and one in its regular feature. One is white cardstock and the other one is patterned paper. So I'm placing the black out pattern paper on top of the regular cut just to give it a little bit of more um, depth. And and these are the two liners for my card, which I used another decorative uh, paper of the same card stock. So we're placing these um, at the ends. But as you can notice, there are no holes on, um, on the liners for the card and I need the holes uh, to be placed in there so with my uh, crocodile I believe it's the 1 8 inch uh, end the small end and I made the, <clears throat> the two holes at the ends of each card because we will be at the end uh, putting a ribbon through there so so far this is what, uh, what we have and uh, these are the two icon pieces that are cut uh, that I showed you at the beginning. So I'll be placing them right above the uh, the holes. I actually like that uh, that detail. It adds a really nice um, touch and finish to the card. So we are um, gluing the the ends down, and I use the same paper. As the uh, as the base of the card, so I'm quickly fast forwarding it. And here, once again, I had pre-scored my lines, so I'm folding it carefully through, and with my bone folder, pressing it down for a nice clean edge and also doing the same carefully with the other end. Once both ends are carefully scored and folded over, we can go ahead and add our ribbon. And I chose this, um, it's a satin ribbon, ribbon and I like it uh, because the color is a nice lilac -y color and I think it suits the floral um, paper design that I used to make this card. So we can go ahead and make our little bow and trim off the, the ends. I'm 
not quite done with the card. I'm using the Hero Arts uh, stamp, Celebrate with Style, to add to the front of our card. This will be a um, birthday card to a friend. So I'm going to uh, I place that on the acrylic block and we will be inking, inking it up with the pigment ink pad Brilliance Coffee Bean. I thought the brown color would be, um, would be perfect for this particular card. I didn't want the harshness of the black uh, ink. So we can go ahead and stamp our figure are saying down onto at the side. Just making sure that it isn't crooked and it's placed properly at the center of it. And I gently press it down. And when you lift it, here you have it. We're pretty much done, but I wanted to add a little bit of more detail at the corners. I thought that it was too plain and needed um, a little uh, brightness. So I thought bling would be the best way to decorate it. So I chose the light green and the largest size uh, um, jewels to add at the corners. So this is pretty much a finished card. Inside, you can open up your ribbon and uh, write in your sentiment, your greeting. And I hope you enjoyed today's video and please come back for more ideas. You can visit my blog at www.ebrevatonsever.blogspot.com.